I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different. Not your business. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell him the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her. A resistance commander named Venterev. Okay, well that definitely complicates things. But either way, he must have had a motive. The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech, but why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him, make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. All right, if that's the case, then leave it to me. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. Yeah, so I wonder, out of the two of them, who has more power here? I'm guessing it must be the Moshi, just based off how she's treating him. But then again, you never know. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is... a surprise? What are their expectations? Um... No, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? I'd say some respect would do. They survived the Scourge and the Ket, and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Alright, so now that that's over and done with... Strike team ready for Why deployment. Why can't you just ask her yourself? You have AVP outstanding, because. Pathfinder. Because... Should we see if maybe Cora's done deciphering Fine. that thing? Lexi, PB. Joel? Thank you for checking. But I'm... alright. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? It's tough to tell. But if you want to talk about it, I'm here. I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? Well, I like to think I was. Then again, they weren't really around much. You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? Ah, <sighs> you know when I really think about it? Maybe we weren't. 
My family is complicated. Isn't much to say about it. Mm. Okay. This random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. Glad to hear it, then. Glad you're along for the ride. Me too. Okay, so that wasn't Cora, but still a pretty neat conversation, I'd say. Yeah, and this is where Cora usually is, but maybe she's hanging around somewhere else. Who knows? By the way, when I was down walking around in the city, I did manage to pick up some new armor from one of the vendors. So hopefully we'll get a chance to use it soon. So, Kalu, who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's complicated, Subi. System, Govorkum. Approaching Kadara. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? Group of exiles called the Outcasts liberated Kadara port from the Ket. Until recently, their power was absolute. But a new gang, the Collective, has been chipping it away. Real shady bastards, led by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice us. Yeah, I really do hope that's the case. Kinda doubt we'll be that lucky, though. Incoming call. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy, Venturev. Rendezvous at Crawler's Song. Your contact's codename is Shayna. Shayna? Got it. That's one hell of a welcome sign. Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. No, I guess not. But in a time like this... I'd say we need all the allies we can get. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Cat. Our supplier's waiting. Come on, we're gonna be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. <laughs> okay, so... Apparently they had other plans here. Bit of a drug deal, maybe? Or illegal weapons, you never know. This place is pretty damn cool, though. We'll find a way. And also very hostile. No more talking. I'm sick of Luckily, not to us. At least not yet. But I wonder if they have a bar or anything around here. In fact, that could be that up there, but we can check it out later. Ungrateful prick. Yeah, 
Yeah, this kind of reminds me of that city from the second Star Wars. Just not as busy. Hey! Piss off. You order, you pay. I said... You look like you're waiting for someone. Okay, thanks. I've got time for a drink. Shayna, but you can call me Reyes. I hate code names. I was expecting someone more... Angaran. <laughs> the Resistance pays me to supply information. Among other things. So you're a smuggler? Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloane Kelly, leader of the outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloane? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. Uh, maybe to you. Not sure that's how others see it, though. Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the Initiative. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. I wouldn't be too sure. After all, everyone has a price. Maybe she'll agree to a deal. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the Resistance. How do I contact you if things go south? Hey! You gotta pay! Keep the change. Always do. Well, well, well. This place has a very definite atmosphere. There is no doubt about that. Seems like a good place to lose a few fingers. Sam, tell me about Sloane Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. Yeah, not really what we need at a time like this. But it's to be expected. Move along. Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? Alright, so how should we do this? Names first, I guess? You must be Sloane Kelly. I'm... I know who you are. So, what brings a Pathfinder to our humble port? Venterev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. Alright. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've obviously got no love for the Ket. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Ven dead, and I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. Is that really your call? Because I see it differently. Ven should be judged by the Resistance, not you. I don't have time for a morality debate. Dismissed. Your Highness. Don't give me a reason. 
That could have gone better. Perhaps Mr. Vidal had more success. He does seem like a bit more of a local, so... I wouldn't doubt it. Pathfinder, over here. Have a nice chat? I think she likes me. <laughs> Don't worry. I found a workaround. Let me guess. It comes with strings attached. Not any new ones. Remember, Ephra wants Ven alive, so when you get inside, give him this. That'll eat through whatever Sloan's holding him in, and it can't be traced back to us. A resistance agent will be waiting to pick Ven up. Okay, seems risky, but what choice do we have? Ben's intel better be worth it. <laughs> You'll be the judge of that, not me. There's a maintenance shaft around the corner, sending the access code to your Omni tool. That'll get you inside. You should be able to handle the rest. Hey, and don't think I've forgotten. You owe me a drink. But, um... Not like that, never mind. I guess this is where we say goodbye. Working with you has been... Enlightening. For us both. When you're done, come to Tartarus. First round's on me. I promise. Yeah, I think it's a good thing they have the symbols with the dialogue options. Because whenever you have the big heart that pops up, that means you're about to embark on some kind of a relationship, or at least try. Follow Sloan and, be rewarded. and let's just say he's not my type. This appears to be the maintenance shaft Reyes mentioned. Alright, let's punch in the access code. <laughs> that really was not too bad at all, was it? Looks like it leads to a stock room. Sam, anyone up there? No heat signatures detected. The room is clear to enter. Okay, that's good news. Great news, actually. Yeah, look at this. No guards, no nothing. Just us and him. What do you want? The Archon's ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloane's getting lazy. I'm not with Sloane. Afra sent me. Answer my questions and I can get you back to the Resistance. So I'm trading one cell for another? You know what they say. Beggars can't be choosers. This is what happens when you make deals with the bad guy. Or stay here. Sloan's sharpening up a spike just for your head. Uh, I'd rather be miserable than cock and food. Which brings us back to the Archon's ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. This is your way out of here. A resistance contact will be waiting. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? You know what? Why not? Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket. And still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands. I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... <sighs> I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. Yeah, that's the thing. He didn't only want the Moshai. Not even close. You were manipulated. You resent Ephra, so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better leader... Uh, it doesn't matter. 
and I'll accept the consequences. Pathfinder, the communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Vetra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. Okay, so we're bringing the big guns along this time around. You've all seen a dead body before. Move along. Okay, what's going on here? If you would like, Pathfinder, I could provide an analysis of the deceased. He's Angaran. There are multiple lacerations on the face and abdomen. Another body? I don't get paid enough for this shit. There's been more than one murder? Seven by my count, but that's all I know. Perhaps Mr. Vidal would have more information, Pathfinder. Wait, seven? In what, the past week? A day? Hell, maybe even an hour in a place like this. But before we keep going, I want to know what the landscape looks like. Because back on that previous planet we were just at, even though the city was nice, green, and lush, if you go beyond that, the entire surface is covered in lava and these huge, fiery tornadoes. But luckily, this place looks somewhat normal. Also, before we head to the Badlands, should we maybe head back to our ship? What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmor Morta made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. I just came here to change my armor, but I wouldn't mind hearing this out. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Remove? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Eladin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Crap. No one fights harder than people with nothing to lose. We still have to find the Ket transponder that'll lead us to the Archon's ship. Oh, definitely. I'm with you. I can't wait to find the Archon's ship. And then, hopefully, Meridian. Anyway, get Callow the nav points for both Eladin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey, I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Meeting adjourned. As you were. <laughs> 